Hey everyone, welcome to another live video. Today's video is another machine quilting demo video, so I hope you're all as excited as I am. We'll wait a few minutes. We're actually going to go completely live in five minutes, so as you're joining this post this video does have another fun giveaway so thank you everybody who's entered the last few live video giveaways I've done they're they've been really fun I have read almost all of your comments and try to respond to as many as I can but sometimes I get overloaded and can't get back to them all but um yeah so welcome everybody that's just joining I'm actually gonna start this live video in five minutes and it is a demo. I'm going to demo some machine quilting. And there is a giveaway. So the giveaway today is for my second machine quilting ruler. If you can see this. Can you see it? It's a little bit more difficult to see it because it's a pretty big ruler. This one is called the trailer. So it's a super cool ruler. But at I'm going to leave this giveaway open for 24 hours. So tomorrow... At about 1 o'clock my time, I will announce the giveaway winner. But in order to enter to win this giveaway, all you have to do is comment below and let me know if you've ever done ruler work. And Yes or no, either way. If you have or haven't, do you like it? You can answer that. And then just share this video. That's all you have to do and you'll be entered to win. I'm going to leave it open for 24 hours and... Then tomorrow, somebody will be the lucky winner of this ruler. Hey, Laura, yay, you ordered your ruler. It'll be shipped out tomorrow if you ordered it today. Um, so I'm going to demo these little things on the end. People have wondered what they're for. In just a few minutes, starting in three minutes, I'll start the video demo. So I am going to be machine quilting again. Um, I'll just, we'll just kill some time while we're waiting. <laughs> Facebook just sends out notifications, so that's why I get on here and kill a few minutes before I actually start the video. So, thanks for joining uh, right now, and we'll start it and get going in three more minutes. So, I hope everybody's having a great day. Wednesdays are, <laughs> as weird as it is, they're like my favorite day of the week. Like, we made it halfway. <laughs> I don't know. There's something exciting to me about them. So we'll just see if I can keep doing videos every Wednesday because I love Wednesdays. Um, let's see. I'll show you a couple other products before I show you the quilt I'm working on. So the quilt I'm quilting today, I am using my favorite products, the bottom line thread in my bobbin. And I know these are backwards to you guys, but so fine thread number 402 is the thread that I'm using on the top. And I do have all these products that I'm demoing today available for purchase on my website. It's peaceandquilt.com. So we'll wait just two more minutes to start the actual demo. So if you're just joining, I'm going to be giving away, I'm going to leave this video post giveaway, whatever you want to call it, open for 24 hours. So tomorrow, Thursday at one o'clock mountain time, my time, I will announce the giveaway winner for one of these. So this is my machine quilting ruler called the trailer. Last week I demoed how to use my four in one ruler and this is my second machine quilting ruler. So this is a newer one. It hasn't been available as long. It's actually only been out for a couple of months now and I just haven't I've been so busy demoing the other ruler, I just haven't showed this one a lot, but it's really awesome. It's a great one to learn to quilt with. So one more minute and we will get going with this video. So if you want to enter to win this ruler, just leave a comment and let me know. Have you ever done any ruler work? Yes or no? And then just share the video. That's all you have to do. Winner will be announced tomorrow. Okay, we'll just get going. So, I am quilting this really cute quilt today. It belongs to Christy. She made it, and I'm quilting it for her. But she wanted the quilt to be really modern. She likes a lot of the straight line machine quilting that I've done. So, she sent it to me and kind of gave me free will to quilt it as I wanted. But, you know, she liked the style of how I've quilted other quilts, so asked that I keep this quilt along with that style. 
So on this quilt, I am using one layer. I'm actually going to turn around so you can see. So I am using one layer of the Quilter's Dream wool batting. It's the Quilter's Dream wool and the Quilter's Dream Poly Deluxe are my very favorite battings. I love the results that I get with those battings. They've worked really well for me. I've tried a lot of different battings over the years, and this just seems to be the ones that I'm happiest with, so I keep going back to these. But I am going to be demoing right here how I quilt this border. I know it's just simple straight lines, but I'm going to back this up so you can see. So something that I like to do with my machine quilting is extend the patterns that I have that are here. If there's lines in the actual piecing, but the border's a large border, I like to extend the pattern here out into that border. So you can see right here that this piecing line right here, I'm just giving a false pieced line out into my border. So it creates a lot more interest and then followed up with some straight lines in between there and some fun corner stones. So as I've taught a lot of classes and especially classes on ruler work, I found that a lot of people have, let's turn this over, a lot of people have a really hard time with straight lines, like lining things up. So say quilting point to point, like in a corner like this. When you're machine quilting, you have to be thinking all the time that, okay, so I've got this lined up. Yes, right there is corner to corner. If I was marking, obviously I would just mark right there. But when you're machine quilting, you need to think about the side of your foot so that your needle intersects this point and this point right there. Okay, so then you need to move over about a quarter of an inch. Honestly, when I do my machine quilting, because I do so much ruler work, I can pretty much just eyeball this and hold my ruler about there and quilt point to point. But I know that a lot of people, I found in my classes that a lot of people really struggle with this. They have a hard time visualizing or even holding the ruler a quarter of an inch away. So I created this ruler with these little notches on the end. Let me see that. I'll zoom in there. Okay, so now... When I line up my hopping foot, I line this notch right up here up with that point. So this measures over a quarter of an inch. So my thread is going to intersect that point. And then I would have my hopping foot right here so that I know this is going to intersect perfectly. Then as I'm quilting, so I would quilt along here. As I get close to here, I'll adjust my ruler so that I can intersect that corner perfectly. So this is my ruler, the trailer. I'm going to actually quilt and demo this at the, well, the giveaway is going to be open. So I'm giving away one of these rulers. This is the ruler, the trailer. So obviously it has a lot more functions that it can use, but today we'll just be demoing how to use these little notches and how to make your quilting really precise without doing any marking. So all you have to do is lead a comment, leave a comment and let me know if you've ever done any ruler work and then just share this post. Um, also, if you ask any questions at the end, after I've done a little bit of a demo, I will come back and answer, answer those questions. So remember, just leave a comment, share this video and you'll be entered to win. Um, just a couple other things before we demo, or before I demo. So these are the threads that I'm using, and these are available, and so is the ruler, on my website, peaceandquilt.com. Come on, go focus. So, so fine. Oh, okay, let's see. So this is the thread that I'm using on the top. I don't know why it won't focus now. It's the so fine, the number's 402, and I do have that available for purchase on my website. And then this is the bobbin thread that I use. It's called the bobbin, the bottom line. So I will demo on this quilt, show you exactly how to quilt this fun little border like this. Um, okay, so before I get started, I know that there's going to be lots of comments if I don't mention this before I demo. There are comments down at the bottom of the screen and they might get in the way so you can't see what I'm quilting. All you need to do is swipe those to the left or right and they will disappear. Okay, so swipe those to the left and right 
leave a comment, tell me if you've ever done ruler work, and share this video. Are you ready? I'm ready. I'm excited. So I'm going to attach this video to my machine. So I won't be able to see your comments while I'm actually quilting, but when I'm done, I will answer as many questions as I can. So here we go. There couldn't be, can be technical difficulties because this is really live. So let's see. Oh, sorry, it paused for a second, I promise. <laughs> We're not really pausing. Okay, let's try again. Ah. Okay, hold on. Little technical tea, <laughs> or technical difficulty. Hold on just a second. I'm still here. I promise the video it hasn't frozen. Just now my stand doesn't want to hold it. So hold on. We're here, we're here, I'm here. Okay, I think that's working. Hopefully you can all see. Okay. So hopefully you can all see this, but what I'm doing, you might not be able to see that very well. I'm going to actually clip my thread so that you can move, or I can move this and show you exactly what I'm doing. Okay, so I am lining up this ruler and I'm going to glide down here so you can see all the way what I'm doing. Okay. So if you can see, I'm lining my ruler up. So this line right here, the edge of this piece strip, the edge of that brown strip, is the line that I want to continue up into that outer border. So I'm lining my ruler up right here with the side of that strip, of the piece strip, okay? So there's a quarter of an inch space between there and the side of my ruler, this little gap right there. Okay, so you can see that my needle, well, maybe you can see, but my needle is actually now perfectly aligned with the edge of that brown strip. Okay, so this ruler is actually also really helpful if you struggle with stitch in the ditch. It can help you guide and do really nice stitch in the ditch. So the other thing that then I make sure, and I'll adjust my ruler here, is that my line is straight, that it's coming straight off of here because I don't have a marking reference point up here at the top. I could have gone through and marked this line, but I'm gonna save time and use my rulers so I don't have to do any marking. So I will adjust that so it's up here. The other thing, how I make sure that it's straight, see this mark right here on the ruler, these other straight lines, I will line that up straight with the top, with the ditch of this brown strip, okay? So I've lined up right here, and then I've also lined up down there. So now I know that my line is going to come straight off of my piecing perfectly. Okay, I'm gonna move it just for a second so I can pull up my threads. Now remember, if you're just joining, I am giving away one of these rulers. It's called the trailer. It's my second machine quilting ruler. Just leave a comment and tell me if you've ever done ruler work before and share this video. You'll be entered to win. I will announce the giveaway winner tomorrow. Okay, so I've got everything all lined up nice and straight and we're ready to quilt. Okay, so all the way up. Some threads. Now I'll move over along the top and then I'm going to do the same thing. Line my ruler up. Make sure it's nice and straight. And then stitch back down. So because I want this to create kind of a faux little piece to look, I'm going to just leave this area. It's only about an inch. I will leave that unquilted. Okay, so now I'll stitch over here, 
and we'll just do straight horizontal lines. They are probably look vertical to you. To me, they're horizontal. So quilting machines naturally work left to right. I am going to be quilting back and forth, so left to right, right to left, which occasionally can cause, it can cause more thread breakages than what naturally happens if you're working left to right. Hopefully we won't have any thread breakages here, but if they do, just know that it's live and that's what happens. And we'll cut those threads and start again. So I'm using that first line on my ruler, lining that up with the top edge of that top border to get this nice, perfect half inch spacing between my lines. Then I'll travel up my previous stitch line. Because I'm using threads that are really, really fine, yes, there's a little bit of buildup there, but the thread is so fine that you're really, haha, -ha, pun intended, it's so fine, that you really won't notice the little bit of buildup that is created there. Okay, so just working back and forth. I'm sorry if there's vibration, but this is just how it is. So a few other common questions about my ruler work. There is no grit on the back of my rulers. If you feel more confident using a grip, you can totally do that. I quilt pretty fast, so grip gets in my way. That's really the only reason I don't use any grip. Okay, so then I'll come over here and I am going to travel back down that previous stitch line because before I start the next section, I want to stitch along my ditch right here. I really love the look of stitch in the ditch. So it's something that I choose to do on almost every single quilt that I custom machine quilt. Okay, so we'll do the same thing. Line everything up, make sure it's nice and straight. I work my way back over. So the other really nice thing about this ruler, the trailer, it's about 12 inches long. So it's a really nice long straight line. If I'm using a shorter ruler, say like my four in one, which I can totally use to do this type of work, but you'll see it's not quite as long. So I actually have to pause and readjust. So this is where having a nicer, longer ruler really comes in handy. And if you need to, so I stitch all the way across, and you can see that I usually just push up and travel. I've got pretty good control of my machine, so I can do that. If you don't feel like you have enough control of your machine to do that, you can always just flip your ruler, stitch up, flip your ruler again, and stitch across. So then when I get over here, I could adjust my ruler, stitch up, stitch across, and we'll just go back to this. Ta-da! Okay, so I'm going to take this off of here and show you. So, well, let me see if I can see your comments now, because now they disappeared off of mine. Okay, there you go, you're back. Okay, so this now, you can kind of see the look is better. Can you see that? 
you can see that better. Okay, so you can see that here. It's creating kind of this cool woven look. And um, so it creates that cool woven look. And then I will quilt this. These lines down here will kind of pop up after I quilt those. But yeah, it's going to be really cool. I'll continue this look all the way around all the borders on this quilt. Okay, I'm going to turn this back around and answer your questions. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> I'm still here. Okay, so I will answer a few questions if you had any questions. And make sure, if you're, now, if you're just joining now or if you're just watching for the first time, make sure that you leave a comment. Tell me if you've ever done ruler work and then just share this video. You'll be entered to win one of my rulers, the trailer. Um, if you don't win, though, the trailer and also these threads that I used... <laughs> there they are. Okay, so the threads that I used are also available for purchase on my website, peaceandquilt.com. Okay, I'll go through and see if you guys had any questions. Oh, one other thing I forgot to mention about ruler work. So I am doing all this ruler work on my Gamel 22-inch machine. Um, it is hand-guided, but if you are going to consider any ruler work on a long arm machine, you need to make sure that you have an extended base plate, an extended throat, throat plate, an extended ruler plate. I think the different brands have different names for them. But that creates that nice hard surface, larger hard surface underneath your machine so that you can do ruler work. I honestly would not ever, ever, ever <laughs> advise to use... Um, a ruler without some type of extended plate. The other thing with ruler work that you should know is you do need to make sure that you're using these thicker rulers. Yes, they can be used on the domestic machine, but I don't know if you can tell here, this ruler is a quarter of an inch thick. Okay, so it's pretty durable. It's made to go up against a ruler foot. So on most domestic machines, it is an option to use a ruler foot as long as there's a quarter of an inch space between the side of your foot and you have that ruler foot, you can use any of my rulers on the domestic machine as well. So hopefully that answers those questions. Let's see. Okay, so Barbara says, I have done some ruler work, but it's hard to get it right on the quarter mark. So that obviously is why I created this ruler because I, Especially when I'm teaching, that's probably the biggest struggle people have with ruler work. And I, like I said, I have really good control, so I didn't realize that until I'd done a lot of hands-on teaching. Then I was like, I've got to create something that's a helper to make this easier. Okay. So, yes, so these are available for purchase on my website. Sorry, I know that some people don't like that I'm looking down. I'm reading the comments, so I'm not ignoring you. Yes, and if you are watching the video and the um, the comments are in the way, you can swipe them away. Okay, so Wendy is asking, that's a great question. So when you base the edges of your quilts, are you quilting as you're quilting or do you start before you start the project? Did I read that right? <laughs> okay, so Wendy, I based on the long arm. So I based along the top and then down the two sides as large as my throat spaces. So I have the 22 inch machine minus my bars. It's probably 18, maybe 19 inches of working space. So I based down the sides that far. Quilt as much as I can in that section, advance the quilt, base down the sides, continue. So I'm basting as I go. Okay. Keep going. Yes. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Um, Kim's asking, what weight of thread do you use? Do you use the same for the top and bottom? So um, the threads that I'm using, the Sew Fine, is a 50 weight thread. And this is actually, it's number 402. So I use this color. <laughs> it's like my go-to on the majority of the machine quilting that I do. That does not mean I use this on every single quilt. Um, after the last video, I had a few people question that. And, you know, if the quilt has black or something that this color won't blend into, yes, I'll use black. I'll use any color. But this color blends so nicely with so many colors that it just is my go-to. So I do have this available for purchase on my website. The Sew so Fine that I use is the 50 weight. 
And then the thread that I use in my bobbin is the bottom line. And this one is number 624. It's just a really great neutral color that, again, blends so nicely because it's such a fine thread. Um, I have it available too. As far as using the same on the top and the bottom, no, I don't. I break every quilt place rules. I don't believe in the quilt place. Um, so I don't use the same on top and bottom. As long as I know that my tension's right, I don't see why I can't use different. And also they are polyester threads. So I know that we're all probably told by the quilt police at one point in our lives that you have to use cotton on cotton. You have to use polyester on polyester. Maybe at one point in time that's how it was, but these are machine quilting threads. They are polyester that are made for machine quilting, okay? I am not the thread police either. I just know they work really great. Okay, next question. Okay, so if you are using um, a sit-down machine, you already have that nice extended table. So as far as ruler work, go for it. Okay. Kim has the trailer and loves it. Yay. Um, let's see. Ruler work rules. I agree, Kim. I love ruler work. I think that I do it on every single quilt. <laughs> and then Tammy says, yay, banish the quilt plates. Yes, I don't believe in them. This is a hobby for most of us. Why, why do we let the quilt plates get to us? Okay, so that's it for today. I am not sure when I'll do another one. It might be this weekend or at least sometime next week. But in the meantime... I'm going to leave this giveaway open for 24 hours. So if you want to win, I'll ship it to you for free. Your very own trailer machine quilting one ruler. Just leave a comment. Tell me if you've ever done ruler work and share this video. You have 24 hours to do it. Tomorrow the winner will be announced. So thank you all. If you haven't had a chance, also make sure you pick up my books. I'm just going to flip this around so you can see my books and check them out. Pick them up for yourself. So have a great day. See ya everybody. There are my books. Beginner's Guide to Free Motion Quilting, Modern One Block Quilts, Next Steps in Machine Quilting, Cabin Fever, and Visual Guide to Free Motion Quilting Feathers. So have a great day. See ya. I will save this so you can watch it later. Make sure you share.